Hi and welcome to this video on using ArcGIS Online and especially from ArcGIS Online access it from a mobile device using Arc Collector so we can go out and do data collection in the field. Once we've finished doing the setting up in ArcGIS Online we can connect to our um, tablet or mobile device whatever and there you got have installed an app called Collector for ArcGIS. If you launch this app, it will ask you to log in. Um, and uh, you just log in with your same credentials that you use on ArcGIS Online. So once you log in, it will connect to ArcGIS Online and scan for available maps that you can use. So it has found my art map. If I want to work offline, I will say download, otherwise I can just click on it and start editing, but I'll just prepare for a offline session. So I'll um, download it and I'll say I'll want a background map. The background map is the map that you set in uh, ArcGIS Online, so you can decide there what which one I want this area and I can you can zoom in further if you want a higher detail this is uh, fine with me so I'll just say download on this and it will then download the background and any um, features that have already been created so once it has uh, finished loading um, you are downloading the map you can launch the registration so if you want to work offline and um, at the moment it will tell me that I'm my GPS coordinate it will zoom in on your GPS code that I'm not at the campus at the moment recording this so it will try and place it outside the area but it can't do that um, so I'll just uh, have to manually locate somewhere and then I can choose a uh, one of these different types of art so I can let's say we have a statue and I can then place the statue uh, on the campus so we have a statue down there uh, I can fill in the description so a test next uh, I can fill in the artist No, I don't know exactly who it is, eh? Um, and um, I can attach a picture. I do that by going up to this little paper clip, clicking the paper clip, and choosing either camera or uh, or a gallery. I'll just choose a camera and uh, and take a picture of the video camera recording and that that's fine um, I'm satisfied with that so now I have made an attachment um, for this uh, piece of art and finally I can press done and it, it, it has then filled and saved this data set it's only on the tablet at the moment so when I have done all my field work I go back to my start and you can say it says that it will like to synchronize and there's one element to synchronize it back to um, the server so I'll just synchronize it and what it does now is that it uploads the data from the tablet to ArcGIS Online and um, depending on the number of attachments and so on it could take some time but it's now finished and um, at this point finish using my tablet if I now go back to my ArcGIS online and refresh this page we'll see that it has now registered this piece of art that I had registered on my tablet if I click on it um, 
it's got this test and the unknown. And if I say edit, I can also see the attachment. So now I have the attachment that I made on the tablet in my ArcGIS Online. So this integration between the ArcGIS Pro, the ArcGIS Online, and our collector on the tablet or mobile device is a relatively easy um, connection to work with. And it goes one step further. If I now finish out my uh, ArcGIS Online by closing it and uh, going back to my ArcGIS Pro, um, what I can do now is that in my project that I was working on, this so this is where I left ArcGIS Pro. I uploaded my data set, um, and this was my layer that I started with. But if I go into my catalog, in the catalog, I go to Portal, and here we have a map, which is a fin the finished art map that I was working with. I can download that with its background, but I've also got the art feature class that I can right click on and add to my map. And what it then does is that you can see it has now loaded the data set that I've been working with on my tablet, on ArcGIS Online, and I've now got it back into ArcGIS Pro. And if I uh, choose and look at the attributes of that object, we can see that it is this unknown artist. It um, has, is, I have created it and uh, it was this test and so on. So I've got exactly the same data. I even got the attachment. So I even got um, the attachment I recorded on my mobile device. So I've now done a completely round robin from going from setting up the project in ArcGIS Pro, loading it up onto ArcGIS Online, attaching to the project from my tablet, selecting some data, looking at the data in ArcGIS Online, where you also could do some editing if you wished, and then finally loading the data into my GIS Pro on my local machine so I could work with it there. So I hope you like this video. I hope to see you in another video. Bye!